Tatiana Price tells me in the spring her family did what they needed to do to adapt. But with more pandemic uncertainty ahead, the mother of six opted to get into a routine, sticking to virtual academies an entire semester online. I have two kindergartners, a second grader, fourth grader, and I also have an eighth grader and I have an 11th grader. Tatiana Price says it hasn't been easy this year. The spring semester, unusual to say the least, with her six kids all suddenly learning from home. I could not wait for school to be over. <laughs> I couldn't wait. I was really happy just to get a break because it was so overwhelming, but I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready for the school year. Her children attend Guilford County Schools, but this year, they won't set foot in the buildings, not even after the first nine weeks are up. Price registered all of them for virtual schools. Once I realized that the way that this virus is spreading, I just felt like it would be safer for me to not send my children. She's not alone. More than 7,300 students in the district have registered for an entire year of e-learning. With all her kids learning from home, Price is cutting her hours at her Greensboro salon, working only on the weekends. It would be no way possible for me to work and homeschool. Despite the challenges, she says this is the best decision for her family. Not knowing what to expect, Price says they'll take it day by day. I want to say it's been like the days ago, but I know everyone has been trying to figure this new routine out, and I know the teachers have been going through maybe training, so I've been trying to be patient, but just trying to be optimistic and hope for a good year. In Greensboro, Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.